Low vision is irreversible vision loss. That means vision that can't be corrected with glasses or medicine. And it's actually the third most common ailment affecting those over 65. In fact, only heart disease and arthritis are more common. The fastest growing segment of the U.S. population is 55 and older. And uh, according to ARP, 10,000 Americans turn 65 every single day. So this is sort of like the perfect storm. There's more and more people getting older. The older we get, the more common irreversible vision loss is. We're also encouraging the general optometrist to get started when the vision's still fairly good. At about 2050 vision, patients can no longer read mail and bills and food packages. That threatens independence. But there are very, very easy to use devices that will address that patient. Well, if a patient has an eye problem that can't be fixed and new glasses won't help the patient see better, the only option left is to offer some sort of low vision aids. Tom, what are the most common diseases that cause low vision? In my clinic, the most common is age-related macular degeneration. But there's a diabetic e epidemic in the United States, so I'm seeing a lot more diabetics. Glaucoma is a small part, but a very real part of my practice. So there's multiple pathologies that cause low vision, but the bottom line is each and every one of these, we've got solutions that will help that patient function at a much higher level. It's a wonderful little niche to add to a practice. Uh, very honestly, optometrists are competing for the same patients except in the low vision world. And as I said, it's a great, great niche because it's such an underserved population. It's been estimated that 90% of patients with vision loss never get any low vision care. So the average optometrist could jump right into this and really, really make an impact on their patients and very honestly do it in a, a manner that makes economic sense to their practice. Well, with age-related macular degeneration, there's no actual cure for the problem. Uh, with the new treatments, with some of the new drugs, they can slow the progression down, uh, down, but it doesn't improve the vision back to normal vision. So you still are ba basically at that point where the patient can't do many of the activities for daily living, and only a low vision aid is going to help in that area.